desperate, isolated and under overwhelming pressure. A 29-year-old woman gave up everything to protect her family. This story also contains graphic details that some readers may find offensive. If flew to Darwin, he risked further violence from his partner who abused him when was released from prison. For the latest in a series of attacks against him. But a court heard that at his home in eastern Arnhem land. He was faced with the unbearable weight of some of his relatives to be reunited with him. His community felt that he could not interfere. Service providers have tried for years to help him find peace. But in September 2018, the 29 year old Yolu woman slipped through a crack and left everything behind to fly to the big city. She less than a month later, Ms. Unipio was stabbed to death by her partner in 2018 after fleeing to Darwin's satellite city of Palmerston. The homicide rate due to domestic violence in the Northern Territory is seven times the national average. 81 women have been killed by their partners since 2000 to 76 of them Aboriginal. Indigenous women in Australia are killed by their partners at almost 13 times the rate of non-indigenous women. When Northern District Judge Elizabeth Armitage opened her domestic violence investigation in June, the statistics were already sickening. And they've gotten worse since then. In many cases, a woman who was a much-loved daughter, sister, mother or friend is killed by the person who should have loved her the most a woman like Ms. Unipio, whose 29-year lifespan reduced short evidence in court this week because she was stabbed to death by her partner Neil Marika, examined by a forensic officer on duty turned the situation around. Numbers around. Judge Armitage uncovered more than five emotional days of relentless repression violence Ms. Unipio survived for more than a decade and tried to uncover why Marika was able to stab her heart. Lungs in October 2018. Despite the efforts of the frontline services, as Judge Armitage investigates a domestic violence crisis that has been hidden from view, his story was one four that were investigated this year as part of a series forensic inquiries in the NT. NT Judge Elizabeth Armitage conducts cascading investigations into the domestic violence deaths of four indigenous women. Prison ineffective Neil Marika had been jailed at least seven times for violent assaults, including an attack that nearly cost Ms. Unipio 12 years before she was killed. Supreme Court Justice Peter Barr said that when Ms. Unipio was sentenced to nine years in prison for manslaughter in 2018, Marika grew up watching her male relatives go to jail for violence against women. Family and Domestic Violence Support Services If you need help, call the emergency services on 30180. Respect National Helpline 1-800-737-732 Respect National Helpline 1-800-737-732 Women's Crisis Hotline 811811 Female Crisis Hotline 1-800-811-811 Male Referral Service 1300 766491 Men's